Hello everyone, we're back in the world of Napoleon Total War. Are you a large left? Well, quite. And so what we're going to do is, as you can see... Heimlichkeit ist meine Spezialität. Is that some kind of Heimlich maneuver or something? Mach etwas. Is we got to intercept these guys. Niemand wird Verdacht schöpfen. So we're going to stay there. Hopefully blocking his entrance into that area. Now, the reason for that is, as you can see from the map, Prussia are going kind of bananas right now. And we need to rein them in. Well, quite. Um, we need to kind of rein them in somewhat, so. You can see there. That's Italy currently being held by the Russians. We're leaving that area open, so hopefully the French will attack it. And if they do, we can send these fellows from Switzerland there. Now, Sir! this guy is going to go that way as well. So he, hopefully, can make it into France. Now, the trouble is, armies-wise, I need to recruit more in there and then push those guys up as well. And then defend Switzerland, so... As you can see, another army there. And so what we shall do is we shall go to the next turn and see what transpires, shall we? Let's go. It should be it should be entertaining. It should be fun. And it could be a pain in the ass. So there's the French starting to push back. Maybe sneaking in on one side. More of the Prussians. See, look, you can see in the cent in the map here that all that area that they've literally just taken over, Belgium, Holland, and all that area, which means the Prussians are the biggest danger to me right now. As are the number of armies that they've got. And you can see there another Prussian army making its way into France. No, that didn't stop him. So... Let's see. Russians continue to move. Now, the thing is, if for whatever reason Prussia breaks the alliance, then it's possible that I could call the other allies members in against them. So here we go. Infantry tactics. We can now construct a military academy and we're doing other stuff as well. So that's good. Now, Let's look at this fella here. Yeah, my lord. So, we want him... So uh, no, he won't want him to go to there. So that's going to be a couple of turns for him. Now, you see we've got 1,500. What we're also going to then do, I think, is recruit some more chevaliers there. Let's see. Or shall we? I'm wondering if it's worth getting more Jaegers. No, they've got two Jaegers. Let's get some more German Fusiliers. As they are the backbone of the Austrian army right now. Brave men. Brave. Brave men. Dragoons. Heavy cavalry. Ooh. What's in this? Oh, God. We're already cavalry heavy. But, let's see. What we could do... Yeah, they're not so cavalry heavy. Um, hmm. Let us send these guys over to there. And let us recruit some dragoons in there, I think. Now, we won't be able to fit all the dragoons in there. But what we will be able to do is send these Ulans. Over to there. So they'll work together with the Chevaliers. Well, quite. So those guys will make their way into there. Now, you can see here... There's Prussia. See? 
all this area here, Brandenburg, Württemberg, Assas-Lorraine, Picardy, Champagne, Southern Netherlands, Holland, and that's the area I don't want them to get, otherwise it basically just cuts us off and will cause us a major problem. But they are very friendly. Now obviously the Kingdom of Spain over here, not very friendly at all. The Portuguese like us. See, everybody else in Europe is very friendly with us. Only people who don't like us are the Spanish and the French. So, we want to try and take this area there. That's what we're moving towards as it stands. We didn't get Stuttgart, unfortunately, as you can see. And we've got 11 of X amount of regions so far, so. We are progressing. Yes, okay, whatever. Reasonably okay. So, let us... Move up towards Paris. Yeah. And there is a full stack army. Whoa, Nelly. And so, uh, a third stack army, I'd say. So I will need two armies to move up there. So, I should be recruiting those guys. And then I'll move that army up and then start recruiting more people in here. Now, what I might consider doing is moving some of these guys up there, like so. And then use them to build up that army while I move in with this second army. So, look at that. Riem, very close to the edge of Paris. So that means they're going to be a danger. Geheimhaltung versteht sich von selbst. Hmm. No, can't really take him anywhere, can I? Nicht möglich, Sir. Okay. Sir, eure Befehle? Well, precisely. Bereit machen? Marsch! Okay. So let's end the turn. And as expected, oh yes. They went for Russia. Which means if they take that Russian area, I may be able to move down and take that point off them. And then I get most of Italy. And that gold area, which will give me additional monies. God, look at the amount of armies. Prussians have got Jesus. Amazing amount of armies. Like, almost like 21 stack armies. Pretty insane. The Prussians going over to say hello to the Brits. Who we are still allied with. And the Prussian Navy. up to something. As you can see, hmm. There we go. God damn it. So they're attacking Ra France already. Well, they're attacking Paris. Which means then that the Prussians are going to be the biggest threat. Which means it's only a matter of time before they get too big for their boots and start attacking their friends. Oh, the Spanish Navy, unfortunately losing that battle. So. Let's move this guy. Back here. And into here. Move this guy up here. So Switzerland and Bavaria. 
and we've built a logging camp, hooray, yay us, now, this is going to be the problem, see, look, he's not even attacking with a full stack army, I am very, estate. very surprised if he actually did anything, Endere Position, Verberge mich, Endere Position, okay, But he also has two additional armies moving up. This could be a problem. So, what we'll do is we'll leave that army there. Sir! Move that army over to here. Like Forward! so. So if they take that area, we can then jump on that and get northern Italy. Which will be advantageous for us. Now, let's do some recruiting. Here we go. Hmm. It also means that what we can do is we can then push down through the bottom here we got to watch for that guy. But we could use him to deal with him. There we go. He's going to be an ambush area there. Let's move on. Oh, really? The French army run in there. So they've moved back. Are they really going to be using Switzerland? We're going up against Switzerland. If they take all of Paris, that's France taken. Go Prussian Navy. Making a run for it. Hmm. Okay. There's Riem, which is right close. Oh god, two stack armies at Paris. Yep, they've taken Paris. Sons of bitches. Ah, damn it. Hmm, what could be happening? Okay, so recruitment report. In Switzerland. So stuff is being built up in Switzerland. Yeah. These two guys can go straight into there. Mars! Oh, seriously? <sighs> so let us move this guy to here. Right. The Battle of Luzern, 1806. Let us see what occurs really concerned about that whole thing with Prussia taking Paris. That means now that Prussia is essentially the biggest, with the possible exception of Russia, the biggest um, power in the area. And to be honest, I think it's only a matter of time before they turn on me. And so I have to be ready to deal with that.
that's going to be really tricky to figure out a good way to do that. So, here we are. Here are my fine troops. Let's see, got those guys there. Let's put those guys over there. Ready to go. Now, what happened last time is these guys need to be all in that arrangement like so. Okay, now. Here are the cannons. And there's number one now. I'm thinking... That I'm gonna have to move them forward to that point there to do any kind of damage. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna have to do. So, behind them, we'll have these three, who will be three, I said. So, Let's put them like so. That is number two. Those guys can stay with the artillery. These guys. forces on the right and these guys can be the reinforcements so let's get in the way then shall we Right, move this section of forces up left. Get those guys to run. I want them in position before anybody else that's near my arty. Increase the size of the map for you guys. And there's their RT. Regiments, Carabinieri. Are they not deployed? I'm well, not as well. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, now they're deploying. Okay. My fine revolutionary lads. Put 
durch. Cannons are getting into position. Creaking and groaning, as indeed they will. Six, six, and twelve. Okay. They should all be in position. Time to deploy, fellas. I think is I need to move these guys down one side. They need to move these guys down the other. Like so. I like it, I think so. Yeah, just about, we'll see. That is a shitload of cavalry. Let's see what these guys are up to. Just like that. Get those guys into square. Ready for the inevitable attack. Beat you in square. Guys, back. Guys, out of there. Get all those guys out of square again. And start moving them up. These guys to there. They're ready to engage. And use the cannons to engage the conscripts, I think. Run. Come on, lads, get in position. guys pushed back. These guys could be in trouble.
the general. Hello, boys. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. That look. Good boy, Cav lads. Okay, you can stop firing. Get the cab out. Get these guys moved up. Those guys dealt with. Send those guys into charge, and I think. over and get these guys off to the slot. Charge them down fellas. Knock him for six, lads. Right, let's get these guys out of here. 
and over to there. Yeah, they're about to withdraw a lot quicker. There we go. Just cut them to pieces. As you can see, all looking good. Barge to the floor. must rest a while. We'll let him stop them. There we go. I'll settle for that. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. So, as you can see, I lost 605 men. Never even saw the reinforcements, but he lost pretty much everybody.